I am Anil Kumar sharing with you technique of solving word problems related to rational functions. Now here is a question from book Nelson Advanced Functions page 287 question 13. Three employees work at a shipping warehouse. Tom can fill an order in S minutes. Paco can fill an order in S minus 2 minutes. Carl can fill an order in S plus 1 minutes. When Tom and Peko work together, they take about 1 minute and 20 seconds. When Peko and Carl work together, they take about 1 minute and 30 seconds to fill an order. How long does each person take to fill an order? How long would all three together take to fill an order? So that is your question. Now we have done similar question earlier and we, what we found here is that the strategy is to find the rates of each and then form equation using those rates. So we'll follow the same strategy. So first step is we'll find rate for each person. So let the rate for Tom be T, Peko be P and that for Carl be C, right? So we'll say rate for Tom. So let me use symbol rate, uh, I mean rate for, let me write rate for Tom it will be how much. Rate is amount of work done divided by the time taken, right? So Tom can fill an order, order one order, in S minutes. So one order in S minutes. Th that is the rate for Tom. Now what is the rate for Paco? We'll call it rate for P. Paco can fill an order in S minus two minutes. So that is one order and time is S minus two. It is important to note one order, right? At times we'll have questions where we say three orders in five minutes, okay? Now the third is Carl. So the rate for Carl, C will use, can fill an order in S plus one minute. So one divided by S plus one. So we get rate for each, correct? When Tom and Peko work together, they take about one minute and 20 seconds, right? So, so we say rate of Tom plus rate of Peko is how much? When Tom and Peko work together, they take about 1 minute and 20 seconds. So the time here is, so the job is 1 and time here is 1 minute and 30 seconds. Sorry, they take 1 minute and 20 seconds. Now you can convert 20 to fractions, which is 1 third of a minute. So the time taken is 1 minute plus 20 seconds means 20 over 60, so I'm writing one third. So that is the time taken, so that is a combined rate. Now the question is, when Peko and Carl work together, they take one minute and 30 seconds to fill an order. Well, as you can see, we have just one variable. Since we have only one variable, we actually need only one equation. So let us use this equation, which is rate of Tom plus rate of Peko is 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3 and find the variable s, okay? So let's do that. So what is rate of Tom? Rate of Tom is 1 over s, correct? So we'll write down our equation from here. Rate of Tom, so we are using this, this as our equation. Okay, so rate of Tom is 1 over s. So we'll write 1 over s plus rate of Peko is 1 over s minus 2, 1 over s minus 2 and that is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3 right so we can write this as 3 plus 1 4 over 3 is that okay so this could be written as or let me just write here 3 plus 1 over 3 okay we'll go slowly right. since i've seen some students really struggling to solve these kinds of fractions we'll kind of go slow here now We'll take common denominator. Common denominator here is s times s minus 2. So when you cross multiply these, you get s minus 2 plus s equals 2. Here you get 1 over 3 plus 1 is 4, right? Over 3. Now 1 divided by 4 over 3 is same as 3 over 4. So you can write like this. Correct? Now we'll s plus s is 2s. So we get 2s minus 2 here. It will multiply that by 4, cross multiply. So we get 4 times 
s plus s is 2s minus s sorry minus 2 they look so similar now that is 4 and this is getting multiplied by 3 so 3 times s times s minus 2 let me expand this also s square minus 2s right so that is what you get so we'll take it to the right side a very little space to work with and I hope I can get complete solution here so we get 4 times 2 8 so we get 8s minus 8 equals to 3s square minus 6s okay okay 6s okay so we'll break the terms together 3s square minus 6s and this is 8s here so bringing it there becomes minus 8s plus 8 equals to 0 so the quadratic equation finally we get is 6x square minus 6 and minus 8 is minus 14 s plus 8 equals to 0 so that is our equation 3 s square minus 14 s plus 8 equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation correct so we can always solve for s so we can use quadratic formula which is s will be equals to minus of b so minus of minus 14 is plus 14 plus or minus within square root minus 14 square okay let me write minus 14 square minus 4 times a is 3 times 8 square root divided by 2 times 3 correct let's use the calculator now okay so we'll use the calculator and find this answer so within square root we have minus 14 square so I can just do 14 square minus 4 times 3 times 8 which is equals to 10 that's a good number to work with and so let's write it okay so we have 14 plus or minus 10 over it should be 2 times 3 okay 6 correct so 14 plus minus 10 so there are two possible solutions here one is we can add and then divide by 6 so 14 plus 10 is 24 24 divided by 6 24 divided by 6 is 4 right so we get 4 as one answer the other is 14 minus 10 divided by 6 which is very small number let me redo it okay so 14 that is 4 divided by 6 4 divided by 6 which is 2 over 3 which is kind of 0 0.66 okay kind of like this okay now 0 0.66 is not a valid answer since s minus 2 will make it negative right so in solving rational equations you may get answers which are not valid but 4 is a valid answer right so we get s is equals to 4 so when we know s then we know rate at which every person is working right now the question is how long does each person take to fill an order so that means when s is 4 we can say for Tom so for Tom it is s which is 4 for the next person which is Peko it is 4 minus 2 right 4 minus 2 which is 2 and for Carl it is s plus 5 so it is 5 now the part B is how long would all three together take to fill an order so that means combined rates so the whole job is one full job so the time taken by them is so each individually takes 4 minutes 2 minutes and 5 minutes together how much time will they take add them up so rate of each so it is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 5 correct for one job correct and 5 times 1 will be 5 plus this is going to be 10 plus 4 correct so that gives us let me use the calculator to give you exact answer 19 over 20 so less than a minute okay less than a minute okay so that is kind of answer so approximately you can say 
which is very close to one minute so approximately one minute okay so that's a good approximation part of this equation was part B how much time will it take right they're not asking for the rate at which they are working together so the time is equals to 1 over t right so 1 over t so the time taken to complete the order for all three of them working together will be t equals to let me push this page a bit right okay 20 over 19 right which is approximately one minute but to be precise when you divide this what do you get you get 20 divided by 19 which is which is in decimals around 1.05 and this 0 0.05 0 0.05 times 60 will give you in seconds which is three seconds right so that gives you one minute and three seconds okay so convert them into minutes and seconds so it is 1.05 something and when you write times 0 0.05 with 60 you get 30 seconds right so that is a correction right i hope you understand and appreciate it so the time which they take rate is 1 over t right so what we found was actually the rate so the time taken will be reciprocal of 19 over 20 which is 20 over 19 which comes to 1 minute and 3 seconds thank you